Vegas to Dean the Show 2018. It'll be really interesting to see what kind of new things there are there this year. I'm really excited to get to travel with my compadre in Virginia here. One of the new divers is going to be representing. See y'all there. Day one, Dima show over. Literally, I sat in the conference room all day. Because nobody wants to carry them all day long. But it's an absolute fact that 50% of your store is never seen by shoppers. Doctors are rarely held liable for approving unfit divers. But somehow, my company makes money in Montana. Billboards. Those things are doggone expensive, aren't they? They're expensive. Dick Clark asked Madonna. He goes, Madonna, what are your dreams? And a reply? To rule the world, Dick. They understand that a daily rock star performance equals daily rock star results. I need three unreasonable people to come up on stage right now. There was one. Social media and hashtag Dima Show. Now that my spirit's broken, day two, Dima. Get to sit in the conference room most of the day today. Hopefully Virginia will get to do some travel shopping. We're gonna be talking to people from uh, Komodo, Indonesia, Thailand, Philippines, uh, all, all over the Pacific. We've done a few of these already. Uh, we've gone to the Philippines. We have gone to Fiji. Uh, we've gone to Galapagos and we're gonna be doing a trip to Solomon Islands. Fortunately, we've got a, a, three more days to look around and uh, see what we can find. The challenge with travel is finding something that people, place that people wanna go at a price that they can afford. We're gonna to have to look and see if we can find something that meets both of those criteria. And also it has to be relatively warm water. And this is something that we've discovered when uh, we tried to sell the Galapagos trip it was a little bit more challenging than perhaps selling other trips to warmer destinations. Any ideas, suggestions, uh, please comment below. Thanks. That looks like fun. How do I do that? So right next door to Dima, we have the uh, MJ Biz Conference, also known as the Weed Conference. And it's kind of funny because uh, these guys, they get you high, and then you go down the road to Dima, and we take you down. the uh, show. We're meeting with a couple of vendors, uh, Bob from Cressy, Dave from Tusa, and hopefully they'll have some really sweet new products that we can check out. Maybe they'll have some awesome specials. That's kind of one of the reasons we're here usually is like it's a great opportunity to go shopping and uh, you know get some good deal, good discounts and good deals and stuff like that. Mode, which is kind of nice. Yeah.
free diving scuba slash scuba computer yeah. called the Neon by Cressy. New Bluetooth downloadable uh, dive computer. All right, Cressy's new uh, full face mask. Rocking the black and pink. Day three of DEMA show. It's been a lot of seminars and meetings. Uh, I haven't actually had much of an opportunity to walk the floor. Uh, one of the reasons we came to the show is because there's a lot of travel deals available. Virginia is having difficulty with uh, deciding on where to go. And there's so many possibilities and opportunities if we could get it narrowed down today, that would be awesome. I was suggesting that Virginia go to some of these booths where they kind of aggregate all the trips together. So hopefully that will help her uh, decide, you know, kind of narrow things down a little bit. There's just so many different booths and so many uh, opportunities available. It's kind of like, it's like a dizzying array. Um, it's hard to really kind of get it narrowed down. So we did submit a Facebook poll yesterday and we got some answers back. It looks like out of the five different options, the Maldives was the, the, uh, the highest rated option. Great thing about the Maldives is they have these really nice liveaboard boats and the diving is pretty, really good. The liveaboard boats are relatively inexpensive as well. The downside is you gotta get to the Maldives. But uh, I would like to go back to Fiji. It was really spectacular. Like Fiji, I think, is a special place. Kind of has a special place in my heart. Diving is really good. People are super cool. They're some of the happiest people in the world. And the food was really good too. So I, I was, I would say, like that place is almost the trifecta, and and it's relatively close, and relatively inexpensive as well. It has basically all of the great things that you can want in a travel destination for diving. And also see what kind of new products saw. Uh, we had that Sunto uh, D5. We also have that Cressy Neon watch. Both of those do free diving and scuba, which is pretty cool. It's also a new Oceanic watch. All those watches, they do scuba and free diving and Bluetooth. So they'll connect to your phone and from your phone, you can actually change the settings on the, on the watches, a lot of your dives do all kinds of great cool stuff so everything's starting to come into the 21st century when you can actually deal with the interface on your phone versus pushing a bunch of buttons on a little tiny screen on your watch uh, also there's a really cool uh, new dive propulsion uh, vehicle called scuba jet it's really small really compact and it looks like it has a lot of power and a pretty good run time too and it's relatively inexpensive it's kind it kind of has almost everything and it's small enough to where you could pretty easily travel with it too. Oh, and then we got a deeper blue party tonight. So, gotta save up the energy reserves for that one. show. We got uh, one last um, seminar to attend about free diving uh, breath hold research. Should be super interesting. And then we're gonna get the heck out of here. Have one last night and head home, head back to Hawaii. Do wrap it up. So this is called the little sucker. <laughs> any flat surface and six. You cannot pull it off. You pull off, but if you want to drink it, feel it, drink it. Yeah. It's empty. What's up with that? Go we'll get another one. Time Phil. to get a full one. Time to get more. Time to get more. <laughs> so funny. What is that? DEMA show over. Just finished the uh, last day of DEMA show yesterday. We got a lot out of the show. Um, we did do a lot of seminars and meetings and shopping and all that um, stuff that you, you know, come to Vegas to do. It was, so it was, 
was good, good experience. Uh, Virginia uh, figured out uh, what she was going to do for the travel uh, this year. She selected two destinations. She was looking at going to Maldives, but it turns out that it's pretty difficult and expensive to get to Maldives from Hawaii. So we kind of scrapped that idea for the time being um, until we can find a better uh, solution. Uh, she had some people interested in going to Truck Lagoon, which is a place with a lot of like sunken warships. And we ended up booking a liveaboard boat there. We also found another um, <clears throat> uh, resort that Virginia has been wanting to go to. We went to Atlantis Resort in uh, Dumaguete in the Philippines a few months ago, or Virginia did. And so we're going to be going back to the Philippines to Atlantis uh, Puerto Galera. Uh, it's a really nice resort in the Philippines, uh, relatively inexpensive uh, for what you get. It's just really, really nice, not really uh, great, great people, great diving. It's kind of a bummer because I probably won't be able to go on either of those, but that's okay. Uh, Virginia gets to go, so it'll be good. Last night we went to see the show uh, Zumanity, which is a Cirque du Soleil show. I really enjoy Cirque du Soleil shows. They're pretty amazing. The uh, effort that they put into the production and everything is a lot of fun. Even the pre-show had, had a little bit of intrigue there, and um, it was just really uh, neat to see. It's kind of more, it was a, an adult show, um, but you know, we're in Vegas, so it's good. And then after that, uh, we hit the slots just because, you know, we're in Vegas. Each put 20 bucks in, and I didn't fare too well. I played the Game of Thrones slot and uh, didn't, didn't really get anything out of it. $9.20? I won $9.20. After spending $15. But Virginia, she played the old school, um, the, the analog slot where the, the tumblers spin around, and she won $300, or over $300? $309. That was pretty awesome, and we cashed out. She cashed out like immediately after winning, which is pretty smart. So we had an impulse, uh, one, one impulse purchase at the show, and uh, Virginia just couldn't help herself. Uh, she saw these really cool uh, flashlight cameras made by Intova or Tovatech? Tovatech. Made by Tovatech. And they were super cool, apparently. I never even got to see them myself. Um, so hopefully they are super cool. But uh, so she, she bought 12 of them, and they're like a flashlight that you can also shoot video with. And so the light shows kind of where it shines, shows you where the video is, is recording. And it's nice because it's an all-in-one kind of scenario. It's relatively inexpensive. It's $2.99, available now at Konohonu Divers. It was good to go to the seminars at DEMA because they're, they're pretty educational and um, they're kind of targeted to the dive industry. A lot of them are either dive industry specific or at least related, like, you know, sales and marketing, all, all the, like, blocking and tackling kind of stuff for running a dive operation. Um, but... At the same time, I kind of wish I had a little bit more time to walk the floor because there were like there's so many booths there and it's hard to visit all of the the booths. So I, I you know, if I if I had to do it again, I wish like I had another day or something so I could at least walk around and kind of visit with uh, some of the new uh, products out there and even see some old friends at the booths. Um, I did miss a few booths that I promised uh, to stop by. But um, it was cool to see like um, the floor, the sale, the show floor, and and um, meet some new people out there. Hey.